Hi, my name is Adrian and I will show you some tips uh, using Krakatoa. Uh, so we'll, I will show you how to um, how to add the fire channel, not to only the smoke and render it with the smoke and uh, using the individual channels for uh, each fire or smoke or our fuel and um, I will show you how to make shadows on geome uh, geometry in Krakatoa 1.6 and our things so let's start by um, creating a film fixed grid we will go to the geometry panel and um, pick the film fix uh, now create a Femifix grid uh, in viewport ok so now we need to define our uh, source that will emit fire and smoke to do this we will go to helpers panel and uh, from drop down list we will pick uh, Femifix uh, so we have simple source, object source, particle source so Particle source will uh, use particles for emitting uh, fire. Object source uh, will use object. Simple source will just use a dummy, uh, a helper to emit the fire. Gravity vector uh, is a helper that will uh, define the vector direction. For this tutorial, we will need just simple source. So create a simple source in a uh, viewport. Move it up. Now we, after we created it, we need to um, to attach it to the Fumific simulation. So select the Fumific grid, go to modify panel, and uh, open the Fumific user interface by clicking this button. Um, Now we need to select this go to object source panel and select this uh, helper that we created that will define our source. Now we have uh, basic parameter, uh, parameters for uh, defining our simulation for this source. So let's set the temperature to 400. We will leave the smoke to 2. Now let's go to the general tab and we need to uh, define where the Krakatoa uh, Fumifix uh, will, uh, will save our simulation. So when you simulate, uh, Fumifix for each frame will uh, save a file with all the voxel information so voxel is uh, a 3G pixel um, like a box that should fill this area so for more details we just uh, decrease the spacing value but we will increase the file size so let's uh, leave it as is it now and uh, let's define our simulation folder by clicking this button, you can choose where the Fimapix will save the simulation. Okay, now uh, as we saw from previous tutorial, we need to export the velocity channel so particle flow will uh, know the direction and uh, the speed of traveling through this simulation. So let's set it each by clicking the set button and choosing the velocity channel. Double click. Uh, make sure it's on the left side. Click OK. Now let's see what we have now. 
uh, open the preview window by clicking this button. No, it should be right, so you'll not. Uh, so let's start the simulation. Click start simulation. So we can see we are generating some fire with smoke. Let's leave it some time. Okay, let's click stop. I just need for this tutorial just a few frames. Um, okay, so we ca you can play with the simulation settings for different behavior for fire, quality, and so on, gravity, turbulence. Turbulence will, will add some more realistic feeling to the fire. Mm. Okay, so now that we, uh, we simulated the fire, uh, we need to <coughs> create our particle source. Let's close this and uh, go to the create tab, then the geometry tab, and go to the particle system. Now create a particle flow source, drag it in the viewport, open the particle view, I just uh, go to the modified panel and open the particle view. Now we don't need the default, uh, default operators. Let's uh, delete this. Position, speed, rotation, shape. We'll need a uh, Fimafix bit and uh, Fimafix power. So Fimafix bit will um, will create uh, particles from the Fimafix simulation where the voxels have uh, have some slugs of. Um, of the channels that we need and the, the values that we define here. So we'll pick the Fimafix grid here. Set the emit stop to 50 frames. Uh, rate we'll need to, to increase this rate because uh, for Krakatoa we'll need uh, many particles. Now uh, we need to define the channels that we uh, will use. So uh, for this, uh, we'll make two simulate uh, two two paths of uh, the particles: one for smoke and one from for fire. Um, so we'll leave it as it now, and I go to Fimafix follow, do the same operation. Take the Fimafix grid and uh, check this checkbox, delete particles if out of grid, so we we'll don't have uh, particles if they will leave it. Uh, you may ask why they can leave it if we uh, will uh, follow the Fimafix simulation that doesn't go out of grid. It can uh, leave it because um, the Fimafix follow will define a, a velocity vector and uh, from the simulation, but the particles will travel individually by using that velocity vector and it will update that vector at each, at each, at each update uh, by using the current voxel information. So if uh, the particles is each, it's at the edge of uh, the Fimafix grid, and uh, a voxel have a velocity outside the grid. Uh, it will just uh, travel outside and uh, will not be more uh, driven by the Fimafix simulation. So make sure you check this box. Um, so now we can see our particles. 
uh, for uh, optimization we will uh, set the display of particles to dots and uh, go to the particle source <coughs> uh, 0, 01 header click here, not the geometry uh, and uh, set the set the viewport uh, uh, quantity to one person person sorry <coughs> now we can increase the amount of particles generated let's increase is each to ten thousand 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 uh, now we will uh, scroll the time. We'll see only one percent, a percent of uh, all particles. Uh, so we'll have more speed to see our simulation, and so uh, now that we have. Uh, so here, we, uh, how we will make it. Uh, because in previous uh, previous uh, tutorial we used the global Krakatoa, Krakatoa global channels, we could define only um, only a channel per all the particles. So uh, so all the particles uh, we treat it as. Uh, as an old, uh, a node, and uh, we applied the channels on on that node, that affects all the particles in the scene. So to make it, to define a, a Krakatoa channel modifier for each the the channels that we want to use, like fire, smoke, and so on, we will uh, export the particles. And then load it with a PRT loader. PRT loader. Uh, so for, to do this, we will go to Krakatoa menu and uh, set uh, click set Krakatoa current render and open Krakatoa uh, graphic user, user interface, or uh, you can uh, do it manually from by clicking. FGM or render render setup and uh, by going down to the assign render click the production button here and uh, choose the Krakatoa ok so let's make a test render close this log window Uh, we don't see nothing because we don't have any lights in the scene. But I want to see it without the lights, so I will use the force additive mode. Force additive mode uh, is uh, is copying the color channel and the emission channel. Uh, so color channel goes to emis emission channel and the uh, color and absorption goes to black. S uh, the emission channel uh, defines the self illumination of particles. The color channel defines the color of the particles, and the absorption channel defines the uh, how much light will uh, the particle absorb. So we'll check this. And let's re render this. Pick up 9. So we can see our particles. Now go to the back to the Krakatoa panel, render panel, and um, we need to save it. So go to the save particles, uh, click this. Uh, Select cut button 